Good day everybody, Peter from RV Finders. It's a nice sunny but chilly day here in Canterbury and today I'm bringing another motorhome here for you. It's a camper van style and it's, it's this 2003 Ford Transit. Now like a lot of vehicles that we have got quite a lot of different vehicles in the past, this one is oldie. It's got a few little issues as um, we're going to point out to you in this video and uh, but yeah she's got a heart of gold this old one so but yeah obviously a few little minor little issues that needs to be taken care of um overall condition uh for the age is not too bad i mean it's got some stone chips and stuff in the front but yeah it's built on the ford chassis engine and the engine is in really really good condition uh there are paperwork and everything has been done what has been done in the last uh, just a few thousand k's ago um so yep yeah, Let's just go through it. Uh, you got the wastewater outlet there, the waste tank, and a lovely little camper van actually. It's got the Tet for Toilet Cassette, the C200 uh, toilet cassette, which I'll show you in a moment. They are lockable. And then this one here, you got the, I believe it's a 5.5 kg um, gas bottle in there that you can easily remove and store. It is a wee camper van, so it's for those little weekends away, fishing trips, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got the power cable in here, which is pretty quite nice. It's got the extension, everything to uh, plug into your house as well. So that's just cool. I mean, the warrant of electrical fitness is oh, still valid up till 2023. It is self-contained. It's got a bike rack holder here, so it's got the rack. It doesn't have the rack but it's got the fittings here for it. I think that one is missing, but yeah, it's just a, basically a plate that you can make up. And then this area here in the front, uh, sorry, the back, um, you can see opens up pretty nicely. And you've got some storage underneath here. There's the, another cable uh, power cord and the awning winder is in there. <coughs> okay, we'll get to the front in a moment. And then over here, this side you can see, but we'll get to that side in the moment with uh, curtains here, everything pretty nicely presented. Okay, coming around you've got the lovely awning there, it's a Fiyama, it's a 3 meter awning. And it's got the holders for the awning, the stays, and you've got your fresh water tank here. And you can see underneath that's where the fresh water tank will be. It is on diesel. That's the diesel filler cap. Right, now, if you look at the top there, there is some rust on the vehicle. We'll give you the reports on that from the COF. So there is some rust in the vehicle, but I've sold another one not too long ago, and I believe that one had more rust than this one. Um, but yeah, for those of you that have got a bit of handyman to it and that know what you're doing, this would be an ideal good pro project. So let's step inside and uh, see what she's all about. Okie dokie, so now we are at this big open sliding door here, it's a brick entrance. Now this is quite cool, I like this. Um, yes, little picnic table, you just hook it up and plonk it down there. Now you've got a cook base, you can put your barbecue over there or here under the awning. Really lovely. Now yeah, just store it away and it's out of the way and clip it in there. It's got a little removable step here so that you can just plonk down here, it's just quite high up. Uh, but yeah, let's step inside. It's just a brief overview. Now before we go any further, uh, while we are here, these are the uh, drawers uh, as well for your cutlery and crockery and here are some uh, storage. I'm not going to open up all the cabinets, but you can have a fair idea. So let's move to the back here. This is quite a very short little mud home, only five meters. And uh, yeah, you've got all these uh, storage cabinets here. Uh, just so you know, I'm 1.7, so this would be about 1.8 nearly. Uh, you got these little uh, crannies here, but there's lots of storage underneath here. Uh, I think the lady had previously two little uh, schnauzer puppies or something that's dogs. And yeah, the table is situated right behind the driver's seat. You got the boiler here, that's the boiler. And uh, some of the electrics and fuses and uh, the vents for the gas heating, which I'll show you in a moment. And then more storage in here. Now this storage was connected to the outside, as you've seen. I've got a vent up there, and then over here the, the water monitor, the tank monitors. So I've got the fresh water and the, and the wastewater tank monitors, as well as your water pump switch on and off. 
and this is the gas heating system and your hot water the boiler that you switch on there uh, nice microwave 20 liter microwave and then a zinc there and storage for your pots and pans down there you got a two burner gas hob as well as a grill grill function and a lovely little 12 volt fridge here with a little freezer compartment there as well okay radio so if we turn this way you will see there that is the shower toilet combination lovely swivel seat toilet and shower and then if you look at the top there that's where there's more storage and then if you go to the front there um, then that is the Ford dashboard as well it's five speed manual as you can see it's got a few uh, 240 plugs as well as USB port as well in the motorhome so if you would like to know more about this camper van please contact me Peter at rvfinders.co.nz you can go on our Facebook page on our YouTube channel please like and subscribe there's lots more walkthrough videos of motorhomes and camping vans that we had in the past and yes we're looking forward to hear from you soon and all the specifications everything will be on trade me and if it's not please give us a call thank you so much for watching and until next time goodbye